welcome back to Judgment Day, holiday edition, jingle all the way. But tonight, we're not just jingling bells and tambourines. We are jingling judgments to see, is someone the a-hole holiday edition? I'm joined with Anne and Olivia, and together, we're casting Judgment Day. Uh, Olivia, I think you're going to read this next one, so uh, take it away. What is the title? Perfect. So, am I the asshole for not doing anything for Christmas this year? And making my husband livid. Just from the title, I'm going to say not the asshole from the jump. Because <laughs> I, I just feel like there's going to be a lot of, well, you should do this. Like, you're the woman. You're ex- I'm expecting these things from you. And <laughs> I'm already ah. I'm already a little, like, I'm already irked. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll change my mind. But All right. <laughs> All right. So. I'm a stay-at-home mom with three kids. First of all, red flag right there. Sorry. What, that she has three kids? <laughs> no, that she's a stay-at-home mom and that the husband's mad at her for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's probably the, the guy who's like, you just get to have fun with the kids all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you play all day. Right? Oh, gosh. Yeah. My husband works full-time and gets an okay salary, but... He's tightened the grip on spending for the past four months to be able to save up to go watch the football event overseas. Oh, of uh, overseas football event? I think it's. I think it's soccer. I'm thinking. It's, I was thinking World I think Cup. It's too, but the I don't know World Cup. That's what's happening right now. But go yeah. on. He's literally obsessed with anything to do with football. He said he rarely ever gets to do what he wants, and so I didn't want to judge him since it's his money technically. I want to know, I want to know that like, it's one thing to be like, hey, can we like do the Kirkland Signature brand medication? And, you know, can we go to Costco and bulk buy produce? That's one thing. But is he like, you can't have any, you know, anything besides like food and water? Like, I want I want to know, like, what is the tightening a little bit, too? Because it feels like a little control issue. I 100 percent agree. <laughs> We discussed plans for Christmas and he told me to handle everything since he won't be back until December 20th. So he's not back right now. (laughs) December 6th. (laughs) He told me he had put money aside for Christmas, decorations, food, gifts, kids needs, etc. The money in total was a (laughs) hundred dollars. What? For food, gifts, Christmas tree, lights. Okay, clearly we know why this man has a okay salary because he cannot do math to save a life. Hundred oh dollars is gas money for the week. <laughs> I was completely shocked. I told him a hundred dollars for an entire family's Christmas celebration was ridiculously not enough. He shrugged, saying it's all he's got. But I pointed out how he's paying. For his friends and his girlfriend's travel expenses. I'm going to assume Wait. that's the, fr- I'm assuming that's the friend's girlfriend. But why or is he paying for the friends? Is this like an ex that he's child support? I don't know. It, it says, yeah, it says paying for his friends and his girlfriend's travel's expenses. Hmm. So friends and I, yeah, I'm, that's bad writing. Um, but I, I, Unless I have this like, is a situation where she, they're estranged, but he's responsible for the payments. Here's the thing. I love my friends, but like the second we go out to brunch and like, it's a one check situation, Venmo. I get a Venmo request <laughs> in like five minutes, let alone, Hey, I'm going to pay for you to go internationally on a football trip for like what a couple of weeks? That's ridiculous. And on an okay salary, like no. Olivia, what? And I know you have more to read. What was the title again? I I'm curious if this is a situation where he has a girlfriend. He's not with the mother of his children. No, because it says it says husband. It says, "Am I the asshole for not doing no. anything for Christmas this year and making my husband live in?" Good Lord. So is it an open marriage or just bad writing? I think the writing is a little unclear, but this is kind of reminds me of like when grandma, like my grandma will be like me and my girlfriend. And I have to remember grandma's not having a secret lesbian affair. Grandma (laughs) is referring to a friend who is a girl 
Well, I mean, more of a woman. I mean, I hate when people say, oh, here's a girl. And it's like a 70 year old woman woman. Like, that's weird to me, too. Like, I feel like after like 16, like you're a woman. Right. I don't know. I hate when people are like, look at that girl over there. It's like, that it sounds like it's a trip where guys and their girlfriends are on it and his wife stuck at home. That's annoying. Oh, I that would like, piss me off if right everybody and their spouse went on the secret fun football trip and I'm oh, at yeah. home with three kids and a hundred dollars for Christmas. Oh, I'd be pissed. Oh yeah. Good Lord. Go ahead. Go ahead. He told me to just take it, but I said that if he decided to leave me with just a hundred bucks, then I won't be doing anything for Christmas. We had lots of arguments and couldn't get this resolved. He's in Qatar now. He left days ago. Yesterday, while I was cleaning, I found an envelope with the same $100 and a note for him telling me to make it work. I sent him a message that I've decided that I won't be doing anything for Christmas with this little money, period. He was livid. He just kept sending an angry message after another calling me spoiled and telling me to stop expecting to live like I was still living in my parents' house and to stop trying to rob the kids of enjoying the holidays like the other kids do. I haven't replied, but he's livid, saying I'm punishing him for going and trying to guilt him using his own money. Oh, my God. Rob the kids of a Christmas. Where's she supposed to go? Dollar Tree? The funny thing is, like, he's the one robbing the kids for Christmas. The best part is, like, I get saying, you know what? My life's dream is to go to the World Cup. But you're going to a World Cup that doesn't have alcohol. It's like was built on slave labor. I mean, this is like historically like one of the most controversial World Cups. So it's like you couldn't wait another four years. Like, I I don't know. It just feels kind of weird to be like, I'm going to sacrifice it all for this World Cup. Like, it's not a good World Cup this year. It's just like they're saying he's sacrificing funding for Christmas so that he could pay for his world. Just the funding, you know, I, I, the whole penny pinching, you know, from the, from the jump. Right. Like, yeah, but I'm wondering, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do 2026 and you know, I can now save a bit longer and not have to like, you know, spend a hundred dollars for Christmas. (laughs) What do you think, Olivia? I was wondering would that world cup aside, would he have just been like, make it work? Yeah, I just don't like if like she's actually quoting him in here, the whole like make it work or um, what was the other one? Take it. That really bothers me. I don't like that. But um, no, that when you said that, I was like, it seems very like controlling because if he's the one with the job, like and she has no other way to like have a source of income or whatever, like it just seems very, very controlled. Like the situation that she painted or wrote about just makes it seem very controlling. Like, I don't know. Like he's the one that has all the finances. He's the one that has the money. Yeah. I don't like the way she said, because it's his money technically. I know. I know. That that gives me the ick. That gives me the ick. 100%. Yeah. I mean, I'm ready for judgment. I don't, wait, is there more to read? (laughs) No, that's it. Okay, I was like, oh gosh, give me more evidence to say that this guy is the a hole. Yeah, so, not the uh, not the a hole for she sure. She should bill him out the money that it would cost for daycare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's basically people saying that he is the asshole. Um, the top comment says this sounds like financial abuse. Why is it his money when you are in charge of the household? And child kale while he waltzes off with his friends to pay thousands to watch a bunch of overpaid <laughs> rejects kick a ball around a stadium oh. built on eco destruction and human rights violations. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, you that, person, on that this. person and I get along so well. I could just see it already. No sane person from this century could pull off Christmas with a hundred bucks unless they go in for petty theft on a grand scale. Yeah. He <laughs> treats you as, or ultimately, in time if he treats you as an equal financially or you should leave and get child support oh my gosh that's from um mama mush Mom, mama Mom. Any, mama is, mush yes <laughs> like is anyone olivia saying he's not the asshole um i can't imagine it but i'm just curious Someone said, yeah, this sounds more like a dictatorship than a partnership. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
Yeah. Um, yeah, no, everybody's pretty much agreeing that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad I'm glad that we're all on the same page, because like sometimes I go, am I being too harsh? But then when everyone here on this this panel and the Internet says, no, we're all on the same page. I'm like, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, another a hole has been decreed on this show. Thank you for joining us for Judgment Holiday Day, Holiday Day, Holiday Edition. And hopefully your day, uh, whatever holiday or non holiday it is, is going great. I don't know what I'm saying. Goodbye. And we'll see you next episode. Judgment Day is a podcast by Starvolt Studios. Judgment Day is executively produced by Matt Rebar, Logan Molner, and Raina Butel. For more awesome content, just go to StarvoltStudios.com or on their Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page.